Hello. Today, we would like to show you a demonstration about the different neoprene used to make wetsuits. This is a pressure chamber used to test the accuracy of depth gauges and diving computers. We are using the pressure chamber to simulate diving profiles and the effect on wetsuit material. All wetsuit neoprene is not the same in composition. Domestic neoprene from Rubitex is composed of nearly 100% neoprene and is formulated through an extrusion process, creating nitrogen cells to withstand the pressures of diving. Imported neoprenes are 30 to 60% neoprene blended with plastic polymers, which does not have the added nitrogen cells to withstand the pressure of diving. In the pressure chamber, we've placed samples of Rubitex neoprene on the top shelf. On the remaining shelves, we've placed imported blended neoprene from Chaco, Pacific Eagle, and Yamamoto. On the left side of each shelf are three millimeter samples, and on the right side are five millimeter samples. We will now take you on a simulated dive of 35, 70, 100, and 130 feet. Please watch the effects of pressure on the samples. We're now at 35 feet deep. The samples have all lost a little thickness in the first atmosphere. As we go to 70 feet, the Rubitech samples stabilize, but the blended samples continue to lose thickness. We're now at 70 feet. And as you can see, the Rubitech samples are the same thickness as they were at 35 feet. The imported blended samples are one half or less their thickness at the surface. We're now at 100 feet. The imported blended material has lost the majority of its thickness. The five millimeter samples are less than three millimeters. And the three millimeter samples are about one millimeter thick. The Rubitech samples still retain the majority of their thickness. We now have reached sport diving limitations of 130 feet. The Rubitech samples are still the same thickness they were at 35 feet, offering the diver proper thermal insulation throughout their dive. Again, as you can see, the imported blended neoprene have lost the majority of their thickness, almost a complete loss of thermal insulating the deeper you dive. And since the imported blended neoprenes continue to lose thickness as a diver goes deeper, the diver becomes severely overweighted. This makes it very difficult to maintain neutral buoyancy and can become dangerous during surfacing if air added to the buoyancy compensator is not exhausted properly. Since Rubitex neoprene stabilizes after the first atmosphere, it is very easy to obtain and maintain neutral buoyancy. Finally, suits made from neoprene blends will lose up to 20% of their original thickness permanently in as few as 30 to 40 dives and become very stiff, making the suit harder to get into. After approximately 80 dives, a blended neoprene suit loses virtually all of its stretch, making the suit almost impossible to put on. Suits made from Rubitex 2100 neoprene will continue to offer superior elasticity and thermal insulating characteristics three to ten times longer than blended neoprene wetsuits. A three millimeter suit will last approximately 300 to 400 dives. A five millimeter suit, 500 to 600 dives. And a seven millimeter suit, as much as 800 dives. Thank you taking the time to watch this demonstration. We hope you now have a better understanding of the differences in the appraisals when making your decision to purchase a wetsuit. Choose Rubitex for durability and comfort. Call for more information or visit our website.